It's time once again for the Oscars, Hollywood's annual award show for the best films released between late November and late December. Only one of these nine films will win the coveted title of Best Picture, unless the guy in charge of the results screws up because he was on his phone backstage and they accidentally give it to someone else. There's a mistake. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Best Oscars ever. Here are your nominees. You've seen Dunkirk's breathless portrayal of heroism in the face of death. Now, prepare for a movie about all the talking that was going on at the same time. Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? And get ready to see Gary Oldman acting like you've never seen him before in a fat suit. Hey, I'll take wearing a fat suit to win an Oscar over eating a bison liver or something really bad, like being Casey Affleck. Grumpy Old Man from visionary director Guillermo del Toro, who's contractually obligated to be credited as visionary director Guillermo del Toro, comes a love story between a woman and the fish prisoner in her lab, which sounds creepy when you strip the art away from it. But trust me, in the context of the story, you will totally be okay with this woman having sex with a fish man. It's actually a really beautiful story about finding your voice and, oh man, this is gonna be known as the fish banging movie, isn't it? The Fish Banging Movie. Set during the great Italian shirt shortage of 1983 comes a touching romance between this grown man and this 17-year-old, which also sounds creepy when you strip the art away from it. In this film full of lush cinematography, moving performances, and groundbreaking visual effects that removed Army Hammer's balls from his short shorts, critics are saying it's visually stunning, transcendent, and one of the most mesmerizing films of the year. While the Peach Farmers Association is saying, that's not why we grow them, but hey, you do you. Lojita. In the sleepy town of Ebbing, Missouri, one wronged mother will write injustice the only way she knows how. Local advertising. In a film with such powerful performances, you'll stop referring to Sam Rockwell as that guy and start referring to him as that guy. You know, from Three Billboards? What? Three racists inside Ebbing, Missouri. You've seen him play historical figures, obsessed madmen, and Hawkeye. No, not that one. The last of the Mohicans guy. That's the one. Now, witness Daniel day Lewis's stunning farewell performance as an obsessed craftsman who has trouble separating his art from his personal life. So, Daniel day Lewis? <laughs> Some actor. Method Man. From Greta Gerwig, the talented actor-director so indie, you've definitely pretended to know about her already comes a note-perfect coming-of-age story about the most difficult challenge a teenager can face, having to grow up in Sacramento. I want to go where culture is, like New the York. Who has such a tough time navigating her friendships, boyfriends, and family. You'll almost forgive her for defending Crash by the Dave Matthews Band. I hate this song. I love it. Uh, who am I to talk? I listened to Papa Roach in high school. Put a bird on it. From the best director of all time, according to every anonymous online metric, comes a World War II story so visually beautiful, so clinically brutal, and so needlessly out of sequence, it could only be made by Christopher Nolan. Not everything has to be a puzzle box, Chris. Saving lots of privates. From two-time Academy Award-winning director Steven Spielberg, the Academy Award-winning writer of Spotlight, two-time Academy Award winner Tom Hanks, and 21-time Academy Award nominee Meryl Streep, comes a timely movie about the media resisting an unpopular Republican president. In a film so calculated to win Oscars, they may as well have just put Academy Award nominee in the title. Academy Award nominee The Post. From the production company that's gone from the Teen Choice Awards to the Academy Awards comes the directing debut of the player formerly known as Mouse Cop in a horror thriller that holds a mirror up to smug, affluent white progressives. In other words, the Academy? Well, it's an honor just to be nominated, right guys? Let the white ones in. Starring The following comic book movies that nerds think were snubbed in the categories they should have been nominated for. Thor Ragnarok for Best Go Bloom, Wonder Woman for Best Two-Thirds of a Movie, Justice League for Best Picture, but only the Snyder Cut, Logan for Best Picture for people who only saw comic book movies last year, Guardians 2 for Best Movie You Enjoyed Then Immediately Forgot About, 
Spider-Man Homecoming for Best Lack of an Origin Story, and Guardians for Best Russian Superhero Movie I only saw a trailer for, but holy sh**, one of them turns into a bear? How'd I miss this one? The Oscars. Man, with all the sexual harassment exposed this year, this is going to be a really sensitive emotional ceremony. Take it away, host of The Man Show. Well, you guys excited about seeing a few girls jump on trampolines? <laughs> Elon Musk is short for elongated muskrat. My mom has a cat. Tutant mean H needle teetles. VHS, the VH best. I am the Batman, I am the Birdman, now I am the Vulture, and I'll never stop give up my dreams of flying.